Hi everyone, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. Today, we're going to be doing some lawn renovations here at our Lawn Solutions Australia Research and Development Facility. We have over 60 different varieties of turf currently at this facility, and they all have different requirements when it comes to a lawn renovation. So let's get into it. Lawn renovations are really important to do to most lawns at least once a year. It helps us fix our soil profile and also get some essential nutrients back into the grass. So the process today is first, we're gonna scalp and scarify the existing lawn. We've got a rotary mower here and we're gonna put it on the lowest setting we can to try and remove some of that excess thatch and dead matter. Whatever the mower can't get, we've got this battery scarifier here or a verti cutter and we're gonna cut the rest of the thatch material out that the rotary mower couldn't pick up. Depending on the variety is how aggressive you'll do this. If it's tip tough or another cooch or a kaikuyu, you can go really aggressive. With a buffalo grass like Sir Walter DNA certified, doesn't have a strong rhizome, so you can't go quite as deep. And then a zoysia like Sir Grain zoysia, again, you can't go quite as deep there because it is slow growing and it takes a long time to recover. So after we remove the thatch with the low mow and the scarifier, we're gonna try and alleviate some compaction and get some air back into our soil profile by using this petrol corer. These are great because they're not solid tines and they don't just push a hole in, they actually remove the core. Once we remove the core, we've got some top dressing on the way and we're gonna to top dress everything. That will help improve our soil structure and get some sand right down into the cores. Once we've top dressed, it's time for some product. We're gonna use a general lawn solution uh, all-purpose fertilizer to get some nutrient back into the profile. We've also got some oxifert and some acelifrin here to help us protect against weeds and also pests and other insects. So we've just completed our dethatching or our scarifying. So as you saw, we started with the rotary mower. That removed a lot of the leaf and some of the upper thatch levels. And then the scarifier really dug in and got that thatch right down to the dirt. This area is about 75 to 80 square meters. And we got approximately 50 catches off it between the, between the scarifier and also the mower. That shows how much thatch you can really build up. But we've opened the tip tuff, the Sawalta DNA and the Zoysia, the Sagrange right up now. So now it's time to core, and then we'll get some top dress and some fertilizer on, and we'll be good to go. So we've just completed coring. Now this is a really important part of the process because we let all the air, water and nutrients deep down into the soil profile that they, where they wouldn't normally get. You can see here the previous sand soil we've used and there's the clay base that would have came in with the turf. So all we're trying to do now by top dressing is gradually improve and increase that sand layer at the top so the roots get better access and can get down deeper. Now it's time for some top dressing. So we've just completed top dressing. It's always best to use a washed or screened sand or a mix that has a higher sand content. We've gone with something with a little bit of organic in it and it is a little bit wet, so it has been a bit sticky to spread out, but it wasn't too bad. Just keep in mind, if it's tip tough or another kuchu or kaikuyu, you can go quite heavy with your top dressing. 
But if it's a, a, a soft leaf buffalo, like Sir Walter DNA certified, you wanna make sure there's some leaf showing after you spread out your soil. Same goes with zoysia. Don't go too heavy on it, unless you're in the northern states and it grows quite well. So we've finished top dressing now. Before we get the water on, we're gonna spread out some fertilizer products. We've got the Lawn Solutions all-purpose fertilizer just to really boost up our nutrients. We're also gonna spread some Oxifert out. Now, Oxifert does have a fertilizer in it, but just because we've done a full reno, we think it's best to put out some normal fertilizer or general purpose fertilizer as well, and we'll let the Oxifert treat any weed pressure that we may have in the future. Whilst we're doing this, we're also gonna mix in some Acelaprin GR, just for that insect control. I think it's a pretty important time to do it now, and we'll reapply that again in about six months time. So we'll get these products out, we'll get the water on, and we're pretty much done for the day. With the warmer weather now here, these grasses should be recovering strongly and pretty quickly from this renovation. Once recovered, we'll be able to continue our analysis on their performance. For more information on how to do a renovation on your lawn, check out our YouTube channel where you'll find our lawn renovation series. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We hope to catch you next time.